Hi, this is Rob Cameron with Choice One Mobile. I was asked to send out a screenshot video on your Facebook page and what you guys were doing in this area or this space and where we might be able to help you. Now, your co I like the fact that you're branding your cover art and I think that looks great. I notice you only have 328 likes. You do have a welcome page. You you have a blog running through there. I don't. Uh, let me open this up. I see you're using Page Moto. I don't know. Some some companies are particular about you know having other companies branded within their space, and I believe this could probably be knocked out and just utilize a full blown landing page with a strong emphasis on the the like button. What's in, the most important thing to know about running a successful Facebook page is your fan growth and how many people are actually talking about what you're posting. And right now you have one person talking about it out of this 328 likes. So what that tells me is the fan page is a little bit dead. That's what they call it in the industry is a dead fan page. It means either the posting's not being utilized correctly or nobody's in liking or sharing the content that you are posting so I see you have you know some different links for tech firms bump perks to recruit you po posted this yesterday you had a post on March 29th March 27th March 19th so the more I go into this the the far and f further and in, in between that you have postings like this one started February 10th March 1st so this is a, is an easy example to, to show why you're not getting any use out of your Facebook page with it when it comes to your marketing. Because right now with one person talking about it and as, as sporadic as the posting is, this is what represents this number, 328 likes versus one person talking about it. I also went into your founded date and saw that you had founded on July 1st, 1994. There's no, I, I thought I saw a picture in here, but these are good areas for, for content. I mean, if you're going to go into the history of how long you've been around, you might want to show some pictures, show some engaging content that people can share and talk about. So the, the whole point behind Facebook and using it properly for your business is you want to build a, a mass audience for people that like you, know you, and trust you. And the way you do that is you, you want to give something of value to people that are actually uh, looking for what you're offering and give them a reason to like you. It's one thing to search the information and try to figure out what you do versus, you know, giving something of value or giving people an opportunity to be provided something by your brand so that they come in and like the page. Another thing is is having strong strong call to actions within your cover art and within the thumbnail apps that are represented here. And then posting. You want to post between three to five posts a day, and you want to use engaging content and, ru and really monitor what you're doing within your posting and who's reacting to what within your admin panel so that you know what you're supposed to be posting. Not everybody's going to see what you're posting every day, and not everybody that likes what you do who actually engages with some of the content you're posting is going to like what you're posting about. So it's important to understand not not to it's important to understand how to gain a fan but it's it's more important to understand how to keep a fan and then turn those fans into super fans which are those are the people that are constantly sharing and posting and, and engaging and and there's a there's a process behind that 90% of the companies i speak to out there get it wrong and they wonder why their facebook page isn't producing like they'd expect it to and it's strictly based on on edge rank inside facebook they're the ones that monitor what gets posted in the feeds of your fans because that's what they want relevant to people coming back to Facebook. They've been doing it right for a long time. That's why they're Google's number one competitor for search. And that's why they're more people spending time inside Facebook's platform versus anywhere else combined with any top ranking search engine. So people live there and you have to learn how to engage with those people where they're living and understand how to engage in the conversation and get people to see your brand more often and then learn how to target those people with landing pages um, 
maybe get in part of some groups and do some like marketing, some comment marketing. Just, there's a lot of different ways that you can boost this up and make it a little bit better and uh, start seeing results. So don't don't walk away from it. It's it's out there. I just would hate to see you guys posting content like you're posting recently that no one sees. It's almost a waste of time and it's it's really not helping the business. So if I can, you know, educate you guys on on a process that does it better, um, definitely would be willing to do that. You do have some good content, you know, within your about page, maybe the found basic info under your founded uh, a lot of SEO friendly content can pl be placed here which will help you within the Google rankings as well and that's that's all that I had to say and I hope this was informative to you Ali will follow up with you guys just to make sure that uh, you got the video and if you have any questions so have a great day my name is Rob Cameron thank you